The sash jammer can be used on both windows and doors and the fitting process is very similar for both. First, determine the fitting position for the product. For maximum benefit, we recommend fitting the product 100mm from the corner of the sash. Once you have decided on the fitting position, drill two pilot holes using a 3mm drill bit. If your window and door includes metal reinforcing within the profile, then you can fit the sash jammer straight onto the window profile. However, if your window or door does not include metal reinforcing, you will need to use jack nuts to ensure a secure fixing of the product to the profile. Use a 9mm drill bit to expand the pilot holes. Insert two jack nuts. These are included in the sash jammer kit. Tap the jack nuts into place using a plastic or rubber mallet. Place the sash jammer over the holes. Make sure that the raised part of the base plate is at the top of the sash jammer. This allows the lock to be correctly fitted at the bottom of the sash jammer base plate. Use M5 screws to fix the sash jammer in position. Continue screwing until you feel resistance. Check the compression of the sash jammer arm on the window or door. If the sash jammer arm cannot rotate across onto the top of the window or door, remove the sash jammer and add packers below the base plate to provide extra height. If compression is OK, Continue to screw the sash jammer into position, applying enough force for the jack nut to spread within the profile. Use the cover cap supplied to cover the screw holes on the sash jammer base plate. If desired, fit the sash jammer lock to the bottom of the sash jammer base plate.